Joining us right now on the Ed Chill Show is a duo, Congressman Joe Sestak and former Democratic nominee for the U.S. Senate from Connecticut, Ned Lamont. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being with me on the Ed Chill Show. Good to be Hi, here. Thanks. Look, I'm not here worried about that, Joe. I'm here to support uh, Joe Sestak. Um, you know, Joe is a guy that is not a split the different Democrat. He knows where he stands. He knows where he is on the issues. He's not a Democrat by calculation. It's in his heart. You know, he's going to stand up on the big issues that we care about. And I wouldn't be anywhere else today but Pennsylvania for Joe. Okay, you know, there not. there you have it. There is the breaking news on the Ed Schultz Show. Ned Lamont endorsing Joe Sestak for senator from Pennsylvania. Joe, how does it feel to have Ned Lamont on your side? It's an honor. I mean, a principle. Courage. Where he puts all kinds, that type of principle courage over political calculation. He knew the war in Iraq was wrong, and he wouldn't take the establishment support of it. And that's the exact kind of politician I want to be, in particularly since I'm running against Arlen Specter. I mean, he is an individual who voted 2,000 times with President Bush that gave us not just the war in Iraq, but a tragic recession. So, yes, I am so honored to be endorsed by him because, quite frankly, I'm modeling my entire approach and campaign after his way of doing business. Well, Ned, let me ask you this. Ned Lamont and Joe Sestak both with us here, right here on the Ed Schultz Show. Uh, Ned, let me ask you, what are you planning on doing in Pennsylvania to help Joe Sestak uh, defeat um, Arlen Specter? Well, we just did an event in front of an independence hall. And as I pointed out, look, I think the founding fathers, when they were there, they weren't looking for a, a continental convention. They weren't looking for a Congress made up of career politicians. They wanted people who had had a real life outside of politics, and they go back and devote themselves to public service. And Joe's been serving our country for 30 years plus in the uh, U.S. Navy. He brings a real perspective when he sits at the House Armed Services Committee. I wish he was there in 2004 when they were debating whether or not we should invade Iraq. I think people wouldn't have listened to him given that experience. They're going to listen to him now as the U.S. Senator and we're talking about Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran and Pakistan. It's important to have that breadth of perspective at the table. Congressman Joe Sestak and former Democratic nominee for the U.S. Senate from Connecticut, Ned Lamont, both with us here on the Ed Schultz Show. Congressman Sestak, let me ask you this. It seems that Arlen Specter is moving further to the left, uh, like especially in this health care debate on the public option. Is that you? Are you responsible for Arlen Specter trying to mimic a Democrat? Without a question. I mean, before I announced my intention to get in this race, he was voting not that often on a Democratic question. Since I announced my intention, he's voting 97% as a Democrat. For example, he's flipped his position on the public option. We said he was opposed to it. He's now for it, as you mentioned. Car check, he said he was opposed to it. Now he's for it. And as I watch him, he continues to follow my leadership. But here's the concern. Why? He's a flight risk. After this election, we cannot have a politician who is there for convenience rather than commitment. I'm into this race for one purpose, to restore the American dream of the broken promise that your children will have an opportunity based on the God-given talents to do better than their parents. And so that's what I want to restore, from health care to everyone, including the public option, to ensuring that when we go to war, it's for the right principles a protection of America, and not for a tragic misadventure in Iraq like Arlen Specter voted for and Ned Lamont opposed. And that's why I want to be just like him, an honest, principled individual as Ned Lamont. The voice you just heard is Congressman Joe Sestak, Democrat of Pennsylvania, running against Arlen Specter in the Democratic primary in Pennsylvania. The other voice, and Ned, I want to come back to you. The other voice is Ned Lamont, who defeated Joe Lieberman for the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senator from Connecticut. Ned, I've gotten some email here, ask, like the one that I read, um, asking, uh, do you have a future in politics? Ned, do you, are, you, are you planning on doing something again in the political realm? Uh, the answer to that is yes. Um, you know, I care deeply about these issues. Back in 2006, it was a lot more than the war. It was about health care reform. It was about investing in our country again. All the very same issues that Joe Sestak is uh, promoting now. And, uh, you know, first things first, let's get Joe down there to the U.S. Senate. Let's make sure he's representing uh, Pennsylvania. That's the voice you want. Well, Ned, are you planning on spending a fair amount of time going throughout Pennsylvania campaigning for Joe? I'll do whatever Joe asks me. Fantastic. Gentlemen, I'd I can't be honored thank to you. have him. 
I can't thank you both enough for being with us. This is Congressman Joe Sestak and Ned Lamont, both with us here on the Ed Schultz Show. And Congressman Sestak, by the way, I want to thank you for being on the Norman Goldman Show a couple of weeks back. Um, I do appreciate your being with me, even though I'm just a rookie launching my own show. It was very nice of you, Congressman Sestak. It was an honor to be there, and as I said, I look forward to coming back on your show. Well, we will invite you back again soon. Right now, I want to thank both Congressman Joe Sestak and Ned Lamont for being with us here on the Ed Schultz Show. Gentlemen, Good luck to you. We will have you on again, and we will be following this race very carefully.